In this question, we're given a mass spectrometry graph for a sample of a pure element. And we're going to use this to first determine which isotopes we have present and how much, what abundance we have of those. We're then going to use this to calculate the average rel relative atomic mass for the element in this sample. And then finally, we'll use our periodic table to figure out which element is in this sample. Okay, so first, let's figure out the atomic mass of our isotopes and their relative abundances from the graph. So our first bar on our graph here has atomic mass 10. And if we have a look across from the top of our bar, the relative abundance is pretty much exactly 20% for this one. So we can enter those in. We had atomic mass 10 and relative abundance of 20%. For the second column, we have atomic mass 11. And for the relative abundance, we have pretty much exactly 80%. So 11 for atomic mass, 80% for our relative abundance. And you can kind of do a check on yourself because these two should add up to 100% overall, which we do get here. Okay, great. So we've used our graph to figure out which isotopes we have and the relative abundances of those. Our next step is to find our average relative atomic mass. So we're going to calculate this exactly the same way as we have in previous questions using a weighted average. So to get our average... We're not just going to add up the two isotopes, 10 and 11, and divide by 2, because that would get us a regular average. We need a weighted average. So we're going to take our isotope 10 and multiply it by its relative abundance, which is 20. And we're going to add to that our second isotope, which has an atomic mass of 11, and multiply that by its relative abundance, which is 80%. And finally, we're going to divide all that by... 100%. So again, you can see we've got our weighted average here, which calculates based upon how much of each one we have. So we can put that in our calculator and we'll get out a average of 10.8. So I'm going to enter that in my answer box now. Okay. So our last step is to have a look at our periodic table and figure out which element we have shown here. So again, remember, we're looking for our relative atomic mass. That's the number in the bottom of the square. And we're looking for something around 10.8. So if we look along, uh, here we go, boron. Boron, we can see, has a relative atomic mass of 10.81. So based on that, we're going to assume that our sample is boron, and we can select that here. 